Yo guys, how is it going? I hope you guys are all having a brilliant day. Welcome back to the Nottingham Forest career mode. Today's episode is a big one. As you can see, we are at home to Chelsea in the Premier League. They're all the way down in 12th place. And then we have the massive game against Atletico Madrid. We're travelling to Spain for the second leg. We are obviously winning 1-0. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of what happened in Spain last time. We got smashed 3-1 by Real Madrid, but we did win obviously 2-0. To take us through to the semi-final. So hopefully we can hold on for at least a clean sheet. Or grab a goal. Grab the first goal. I think the first goal is going to be very, very important in this second leg. But let's stop talking. Let's get into this massive episode. At home to Chelsea. Hopefully pick up three points against them. And keep our Premier League title dreams alive. So that's a pretty changed up team here against Chelsea. I want my strongest possible team fully fit and ready to go for the big second leg in the Champions League semi-final. Only a few days away. And do you know what? Looking at the Chelsea team, we are in season four. Remember that, guys. I can see why they are struggling, to be honest. They haven't bought a lot of players. They've got a few good players on the bench, as you saw. They've got um, Icardi and Douglas Costa. But other than that, I mean, I can see why they're struggling. Like I said, season four, players like Willian... Ivanovic, Costa, their stats would have decreased. So I can actually see why they're struggling. And I'm actually pretty confident of picking up the three points here. Pasilic on the ball here for Chelsea. Plays it into Matic. Oh, that is a great ball through to Willen. Is he going to whip in a cross? He does. It's a great cross. What a save. Open goal, but Fossi Mensa gets it away. What a save from Pickford. Pasilic on the ball now for Chelsea. And Lansbury does well. Getting back, doing well. But Pasilic back on the ball. Is Lansbury going to win it? No, plays it forward into Matic. Using his strength very well. He turns and finally, we're going to get it away. Can we break away? Here we go. Locatelli, obviously not the quickest and most physical. So we're going to have to give it down to the right-hand side in... I'm not even sure who's on the right-hand side. Antonio. I can't remember. Such a changed-up team. But here we go. Walker on the ball. Can we get an attack going? Come on. Get an earlier goal. 20 minutes in. It's not been the greatest of games so far. Lack of V forward to Henry Lansbury. We're going to turn it onto his right foot. Shoot across the keeper. And it's an easy save for the goalkeeper. First attempt of the game. 20 minutes in. Tyler Walker. What a pass. That is out to Ben Osborne. Surrounded by blue shirts. Look how many blue shirts are back compared to red shirts. But here we go. Locatelli into Tyler Walker. Do a little over the top here to Antonio. Loads of space. Good first touch. Across scenes. Goes straight to Henry Lansbury. Defender does well. But it's come out to Livermore. A strike at goal. I thought it was flying into that top corner. Is that the first half wrapped up? It is. Not been the best of first halves, but hopefully the second half will open up a bit more. It's been a bit cagey the first 45 minutes, so hopefully we can grab an early goal and just kill Chelsea off a little bit and take control of this game. Jake Livermore forward to Tyler Walker. Overlap on the right-hand side from Lacaviti. Marcos Alonso wins possession for Chelsea. And now Victor Moses on the ball. He's going to play it back out to Marcos Alonso. Look at the space. Where the hell is Lacaviti? Just about getting back now. Victor Moses on the ball. Is he going to have a shot? Plays a great ball through Diego Costa. First time finish into the bottom corner. And Chelsea, easy as that. A 1-0 up. 10 minutes into the first, um, second half, should I say. And Chelsea have taken control of this game. Look at the pass from Victor Moses. It was a brilliant little pass through the middle. Look at that. Don't know where the hell my defence was. Ben Osborne's there. Where the hell is my defence? Where's my left back and other centre back? Manson was in position, but... Where there was Fossu Mensa and Chilwell. Chilwell on the ball here into Locatelli. Can we reply very, very quickly? It's only a few moments since we've gone 1-0 down and we get a free kick in a very, very dangerous position. If this was FIFA 16, I'd be very confident of scoring, but it's FIFA 17 and I am atrocious at free kicks. But here we go, Ben Osborne. And I don't see the point of this. Why can you move forward when there's a freaking line on the floor? They need to... They need to eliminate this from the game. It's so, so annoying. But here we go. We're going to try and whip this around the wall. Ben Osborne, here we go. Can this be my first free kick scored? Oh, my God. Oh, I thought it was flying in. I think I've only scored a couple. I'm not sure if I've actually scored any in this Nottingham Forest career mode. I think they just all fly high and wide. That's why you never see me put a free kick in. I'm, I might put in one now and again. Might just skim past the post, but like that. But, wow, free kicks are so hard on this game. 
Okay, the game has just been stopped. I didn't know this actually happened. I don't know what happened, but Tyler Walker is apparently injured. Okay, Tyler Walker is going to have to come off, and we are going to bring on Fabio Brini. Let's take a look at the replay, because I didn't even know he was down injured. Okay, is that off the ball? That must have been an off the ball situation, but he's gone down holding his shoulder. I think it was, but hopefully it's not a serious injury. Fabio Barini, obviously against one of his former clubs. We're going to play it to the left-hand side. Ben Osborne, what can we do over here? Try and beat the defender here. We've done it nicely. It's onto his left foot as well. We're going to whip it across to that near post. Keeper comes out very well. Who was that running in? I think it was Henry Lansbury running in. He would have been 1-1, but the keeper done well. Douglas Costa on the ball. Obviously, we are all out attack, so my defence is nowhere to be seen. Here we go. Douglas Costa into the box. Is he going to whip it across? He's totally done two players. Plays it short into Akadi off the post. Oh, that would have completely killed the game. Thankfully, it hits the post, though. So there goes the full-time whistle. It wasn't the best of games, and I definitely deserve to lose. Chelsea probably deserve to have at least three goals in this game as well. I played terrible, and I think our slight chance of lifting the Premier League title is officially over now after this defeat. But let's get into the big game now, the Champions League semi-final second leg, and try and get through to that Champions League final because this is the only thing we are fighting for now. Let's go. Here we go, the second leg against Atletico Madrid. We are 1-0 up, of course. We didn't concede an away goal, which was the main thing I aimed for in the first leg. And here we go, early attack. No, Hernandez does well. Carrasco now on the ball. They're messing around with it in defence. I think if we score the first goal in this game, it will really give me a lot of confidence of actually going ahead and winning it. But hopefully it doesn't turn out like the Real Madrid away tie. We got smashed three ones. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of that. Just coming up, 25 minutes played and nothing has happened in this game. They've had no shots, we've had no shots. Not even a, a hopeful shot from about 30 yards from either team. But they have totally dominated the ball and they are on the move forward here. Sal on the ball, puts in a very good cross but Cabaselli does well. Now Leroy Fur is obviously going to pick it up but Hernandez takes it away from him. And now Plea on the ball into the box. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? What a pass to Gamero! And thankfully it's just past the post. If we can keep a clean sheet... We are going through to the Champions League final. We are 1-0 up and that was an early, well not an early scare. Oh, just past the post. Would the keeper have got there? I'm not so sure. But a scare from Atletico Madrid. They've completely, like I said, they've dominated the ball. Dominic Cayorfa, nice ball through to Leroy Fer. We're going to spread it out to the right-hand side in Jordan Iban. Whip across right to the back post. Why didn't Mario Balotelli just continue running forward? He stopped. Surely he would have got on the end of that cross if he just carried on running forward into the box. Manguillo, Sal, first time into Bender. Is he going to play it in? No, what a pass. That is out to the left-hand side. Great touch from Carrasco. Got loads of space. Is he going to whip in across? He does. Who's it going to? Bender. And it's 1-0. It is 1-0 on the night just before the break. What a terrible time to concede a goal. Carrasco had so much space. I thought I was actually going to get a blocking because he kind of delayed the cross. But it's a brilliant finish. Keeper had absolute no chance. Tucked away nicely with his head into that bottom corner it couldn't get any closer to the post but it's 1-0 on the night 1-1 on aggregate as it currently stands it's going to extra time so these are the halftime stats two shots for Atletico Madrid one shot for us 63% possession for Atletico Madrid let's get going with this second 45 minutes I think we definitely need to score the next goal in this game Fabio Barini to the right hand side in Jordan Ibe I think this is great control into I think this is Mario Balotelli Using his strength, we're going to play it hopefully up to Pulisic. No, nope, because he's not in that much space. But here we go, Pulisic now on the ball. Play it back to Balotelli into Leroy Fur. Going to try and get it onto his right foot and have a shot. But it's just literally no space. I just cannot get through. This is ridiculous. Up to Barini. Going to try the curler here. Oh, it's fallen nicely for Pulisic. Oh, and the keeper holds it as well. Surely if he parried it, it would have been 1-1 because there were two players waiting just to smash that in the open net. Atletico Madrid moving forward here. Pli on the ball, getting chased by Cabasele. He turns me, but Kieratini does well. Just over an hour played. I'm still struggling to break through 
the Atletico Madrid defence. I think, like I said, the next goal has to be us scoring it because if they go 2-0 up, I just cannot see myself coming back into the game. 25 minutes left to play, double sub, Hernandez and Aaron's coming on to try and change the game for us. Hopefully it will improve our attacking play to get some chances at their goalkeeper because so far, nothing has happened for us. Leroy Fur wins possession, bad pass from the Madrid man, Balotelli to the left hand side and Pulisic going to turn it onto his right foot, try to curl it, oh what a finish off the post, what a finish. 1-1 on the night, 2-1 on aggregate, what a goal from Pulisic, I really thought he was going to get tackled there because the Atletico Madrid man was so tight on him, but somehow the shot went towards goal, off the post and into the back of the net, 20 minutes left and we are 1, well I was about to say we're 2-1 up, but we're 1-1 on the night and 2-1 up on aggregate, what a finish, look the Atletico Madrid man was so tight to him, but what a finish, Leroy Fur into Dominic Ayorfa, doesn't work out, Carrasco now on the ball, charging towards my defence, someone make a tackle, Cabaselli does but it falls to plea and now Thomas Lamb gets in the way and wins it back, William Remy, oh Sal gets in the way and I don't, know if that, I don't know if that was a pass or he's just trying to get in the way of my pass but we win possession back, here we go, Aaron's into William Remy, soon enough they are going to throw everything forward so maybe we can grab a third goal over the top to Leroy Fur. it's going to happen right now, Leroy Fur on his left foot across the keeper and it's a decent save, that really should have been 2-1 on the night, 3-1 on aggregate and completely game over, I'm going to try and get in a little bit of space and find a decent pass to Abel Hernandez, I'm going to try, I wanted it onto his left foot but it's onto his right foot, I'm going to smash this to the near post, and it's up in the air. Who's going to get it? Keeper punches. Abel Hernandez now. Is it going to fall to William Remy? Go on, son. He goes in with his head. Nearly gets his head taken off. But, oh, they win it back. We win it straight back. Here we go. Up to Pulisic. In the middle to Mario Balotelli. A tackle. But we're still in possession. Here we go to the right-hand side. No, it's gone through to Abel Hernandez. Go on, son. No, it's a bad touch. Oh, we are all over Atletico Madrid at the moment. Atletico Madrid are throwing everything forward. If we can win the ball here and hit them on the break, we will completely kill the game off. But they put a great ball forward up to the big man from defence. Hernandez into Carrasco. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? He does. Thankfully, straight at the goalkeeper. Yes, yes, yes. We've done it, guys. We are through to the Champions League final. Thankfully, this season with the Nottingham Forest, this final season with Nottingham Forest, is ending with a chance of lifting a trophy Guys, we are into the Champions League final. Let me know because this is the final season with Nottingham Forest and it really doesn't matter where we finish in the table. Do you guys want me to sim all the league games and just have a final episode simming all remaining league games and then playing the Champions League final? You guys let me know. But we've done it, guys. I am so pumped to play that final. So guys, like I said, let me know if you want one final episode with me simming the three remaining league games, which would obviously take up no time whatsoever, and then playing the big one, the Champions League final. Are you guys ready to see who we have in the final? I haven't looked yet. I'm looking the first time with you guys. Oh my god, we got Barcelona. Barcelona, June 6, 2020. We are up against Barcelona in the Champions League final. Wow. That, of course, is going to wrap this video up. I'm just so ready to play that final. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.